I did figure out how to actually make it yeah, it's not that update, far, right? even though it was a little bit over the over the edge. So you got Oscar uh, going to nine and Jeremy going to seven. It's alternating break format. You're watching the Mets West State Tour. It's uh, live from Bullshooters in Phoenix. Oscar Dominguez by racing to nine. And Jeremy Gibbs goes to seven. Nine seven race. Open shot on the one ball. Looks like he's playing it down in the left hand corner pocket. Made it. Nice position on the deuce. He's going to ha either have to play the three ball in one of the two same corner pocket or the one on top, or play the three eight combo. I just use uh, center English here, come down to the bottom rail and come up for the three ball in the upper left hand corner pocket, or come up and down and play the three ball in the left hand bottom pocket. With the speed of this table, we'll see what happens. It went nice and soft. He's going to come up too high to play it in the corner. Does it nice fit force it No, fit I, don't, I don't think so. Uh, it might. If I, look at, if I look at the screen, it might. That's a better shot with that four ball fighting down there behind the nine. The way he's cueing it looks like it does go by the eight. And you can get the cue ball to play the, 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 the four ball in that other corner. There we go. Nice. I didn't think that ball would go by. And you ain't like looking yeah, at it. From this angle, it's I don't have see. your eyes. <laughs> of course, you have glasses on. I don't. Yes, I'm getting old, okay? Getting? Your day will come, youngster. Yes, sir. Nice shot by Jeremy. Easy here. Do you have an extension? Or, uh, oh, he's going to shoot left hand. That's right. He actually, I played him at the uh, amount of my last match, and he actually uh, cues the ball well left handed. Well, Somehow well. Hope that wasn't it. Uh, commentator Jim. That's trying to get too perfect on mm -hmm. that seven. Mm -hmm. you know, he has to let the cue ball go if he's going to finish. I think you have to go up and down, especially with the speed of this table. McCory and Jim Hendrickson, Don McCory. Jim Hendrickson, Don McCory. Jim Hendrickson, table 23, even race to seven, come beat the right. And a pretty standard out for um, Oscar. He'll probably just stop it and play the nine ball in the corner. There you go. Like the first game will go to Oscar. Unless some unforeseen uh, tragedy took place. 1 0. Brett, you want to get on the set so you can do the games? So he can do the games. Yeah. games. I'll learn that later from me. <laughs> when, when I bring my glasses. Yeah, no, I, I know it's simple. It's all fancy. I can still handle a cue stick pretty well, and I beat you over the head with it. <laughs> Not a problem. Now George is getting a little uppity, so we'll, we'll have to deal with that later. I wasn't making the rude comments about, you know, disparaging someone's age. You know, AARP doesn't mind, neither does AAA. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't you, mind when I re remember to use my senior discount. Huh? You think there's a lack of work that you have to do now? I do plenty of work. You try to, you try to raise and and keep two golden retrievers, see how much work you have to do. Got to vacuum the house twice a day. <laughs> do you know how much two golden retrievers shed? <laughs> I'm serious, he just, oh my lord. It is. Oh well. 
I bargained for one, not two, but I got one back, so I have two. <laughs> they're actually, they're actually great. They're a lot of fun, but they are a lot of work. This might go all the way down to the corner. Fortunately, the hole's not there. Center of the table, just like that. Doesn't want to come too far because you can't reach it. Extension, anyone? <laughs> I got one. How about a bridge? <laughs> He's going to get his extension or get his own bridge, one or the other. Yeah, those steel bridges, a lot of players don't like the steel bridges. Um, if your cube bounces on it at all, you get a nice little nick in it. Yeah. And if, and if somebody doesn't take care of it, then the edges can get a little rough and then you might scratch oh, yeah. the cue on yeah. it. Yeah, I don't care for steel bridges. Um, I'll feel the edge, see if it's sharp. If it's sharp, I will have nothing to do with it. I'm surprised that he put that, that bridge on his brake cue because those things can take a tip off pretty quick. Probably bank this in the side, stop the cue ball for the five. I don't think he'll play safe, although I would bank this four ball to the bottom rail that you're looking at and try to put the cue ball either behind the eight or use the nine five seven to block to run interference for me. But like I said, I just played in the last match, he'll fire at this. And fired well, he did. And to a certain extent, I, I kind of agree with that shot. Um, if you're comfortable banking the ball, it was lightened up nice. But yeah, he I also think had I a good I think I would have tried to put that cue ball behind the eight. Yeah. I, uh, well, the nine five is a lot bigger, but yeah, either one. But I will say, from what he's shot so far, he played a lot better. He's played a lot better this match than he played in my Take a 2-0 lead, pocketing this nine ball.
Well, he's pretty straight in here, but it looks like he could follow this ball. But he's a little tricky over the two ball. So this isn't the easiest shot. Nice shot. That's what happens when you get a little tricky, you see? What a nice shot that was, huh? Stayed down on that ball, brought it back seven feet. Over a ball, draw it, long straight in. I think we'll just kind of come off the rail there and play the four in the side. He's on five, six is in the pocket, so it's not a problem. Just don't get behind you. on his way to a three game lead. Yeah, this is how it's supposed to look. Just nice and yeah. smooth. Pretty much. Oscar's a third of the way there in race to nine. He's going to nine. His opponent, Jeremy Gibbs, who will be breaking the balls next, goes to seven. Mez West Tour out of California. Has a stop in Phoenix. And Bull Shooters, Peoria, Arizona, which is in the Phoenix area. 87 players signed up today. This is on the one loss side. So whoever loses this match uh, is taking an early exit. Making an early exit and uh, we'll get to sit down and watch a lot of matches. ball. Looks like three balls went in, two balls went in, and everything is spread out. I would be rather surprised if Oscar doesn't get out here. Yeah, this should be fairly straightforward. The yeah, pretty straightforward. Nothing's in trouble. Everything goes to everything. The four and the five are both in the center of the table, um, so it's just a matter of just sliding by the six. And he's it all rolled out a couple more inches and he was in trouble, but he could have gone in the six, could he? Yeah. You go two rails. Yep. Oh, now he can't get to the side of the six he wants to be on. He's got to come to the bottom of the six. He wants to be on the top side yeah. of the six. He's going to have to lift two ball a little bit for the next shot. Now he's got to shoot it in the corner and come back to the seven. Looks like he got pretty straight in on that, too, so he has to drop yeah. back to the short side on the seven. Stunned it over? Right over there. Yes, nice, nice little shot. Over. Yep. Nice little stun. Sounds good, man. Where's the pepperoni? Where's the pepperoni? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar lost to Paul Grande. So this is a one loss, one loss side match. And he just goes to a 4-0 lead. Where my, where my pizza go?
It's going to take your camera. See All right, Rick, I'm not going to charge you for that seat. That makes up for it. Now you're paying for it. Four games to zero. One ball goes in the side, corner ball goes in the corner, and I don't know where the other ball went, but he's uh, lined up with uh, uh, as long three as balls almost straight in. I think it is straight in. Straight and if he has any kind of an angle to either Jay side, he's fine. Yeah, either side is fine. Let's see how he handles it. He's looking at it. It looks like it must be really straight in. Might have to draw back to play the four ball the other way. <laughs> Good play, you're supposed to hit him, right? And Oscar's running away with this match, making it look yeah. easy. Nice shots in that, in that run. Bank the bank the four ball across side to get out. We get to hear from Jeremy now. Oscar gives up control of the game because of the alternate break, and uh, let's hope he can keep it on the table this time. And Jeremy flew it off the last time. Hit that ball hard. He got results. Made one ball in the corner, and he's got a shot on the one. Oscar's got a choice here. You can either follow this ball with right hand and you just go two rails or shape on the deuce or come straight across the table avoiding the three, just like this, for a shot in the same deuce. That takes away the extreme English they would have had to use for the other shot. He's got a little angle, but the question is how does he want to get to that next ball? Maybe can slide over to the right side and shoot the three down here on the left. I don't know how much angle he's got. He, do that. he has to punch it pretty good to get there. Um, if he just barely hits it, he can stick right between them. Yeah, so he, he made more angles. Yeah. 
soon as y'all get some mist. Because you want to make sure you get that angle out there. Don't leave yourself stuck behind that six ball. Yep. I mean, I think you could have just slow rolled it and then about mm -hmm. 20 minutes rolling the six. That's such a small window to be in there. It's tough to convince yourself that that's our shot. Because I, I didn't think you could get away from it, get out of the way and get a shot on the free ball. I, that cross corner bank like that. I was too busy, busy eating my feet. Yeah, you're not paying attention at all. <laughs> That's very true. Real first here? Yeah, I think so. Just a slow roll. Real around. soft, yeah. Like real first, real soft play the three ball on the side. There you go. I. Well, it, it came out okay. That ball really nice. When he first hit it, I thought it skidded on him. Yeah. But it it, it, it rolled real true. <laughs> this nine ball might come into play. It sure did. That's how fast this table is, guys. This table is super fast. Played that three ball real well, and I think it just got carried away with the four. You put this a table on. just runs out you put on, a stroke on it. it, 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 it table he hit a bank on half that table there wasn't a hole and the other half there was a hole <laughs> stretch for this one. No, he's not. He's going to shoot it uh, left-handed or back-handed. You know, I don't like it when people get up there and shoot left-handed when they're not left-handed. It makes me look bad. <laughs> that wasn't hard to do. Well, making me look bad is not hard to do? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Rudy gets up and shoots in one hand. He stabs him in. Head, his hand's over his head and he stabs it in. like He spear chucks it. Six games to zero. See, one number twenty-five. 
Straight in on the one, almost straight in. A little bit of an angle. He's got a little bit of an angle. It's he's, not got, a lot. he's got enough angle he can just follow the ball. He'll avoid the seven and come to the rail and come up for the two. Well, or will he run into the seven? How you look at it, because from here it looks like it's almost. Oh, it looks straight. like he will hit the seven. Yeah. Well, if he hits the seven, he's good. If he hits it close. There you go. That's what or I thought. Or he hit it absolutely perfect and nowhere to go. That's what I thought he was going to do. That's why I called the guy. <laughs> I didn't expect him to miss it. It's the hammer. It's about time you came back to your country. <laughs> wow, he was he was wanting to play that four ball where he's going to play it. Uh, I don't think he wanted this much of an angle. You gotta shoot this left hand. The good thing is it's just a straight follow shot and he goes two rails for the five. Oh. I think there was a little I, I think there was a little loaf in that shot. This is what happens when you're ahead 5-0. Six. Six zero, excuse me. Two thirds of the way there. Bar table. I, I know, know he's I, out I don't here. know why he shot it that way though. Why don't you just follow this? Follow, follow this. Corner. Follow this two rails, and you'll get on the six point oh, quarter. There you go. That's too hard. Look where he's going to end up. Now, see, this is just a good speed shot and three rail to cue ball, and get on the seven for the lower left hand corner. Red chili burrito smothered, red and bar. Red chili burrito smothered, red and bar. That may not be hard. Well, there's always that. But I think it was a bigger target on the other side. I agree. <laughs> and we are rooting for him here because I want him to you'll win this game. He will win this game. Or I'll just have a little slice of pizza. No, I think you're rooting against him. Well, see, I tell you he'd win that game. <laughs> One to six. Just give me a thing, my dear. I would. <laughs> I think my next match might be Trace King. Robert Johnson, I'm looking for you on 24. Robert Johnson, I'm looking for you on table 24. You are on the clock. Tim Daniel, I'm looking for you on 25, Tim. I am looking for you, table 25. That's Tim Lay's looking for a lot of guys, huh? Yeah. Woo! She was looking for you here pretty soon, Brett. Well, let's see a little comeback from uh, Jeremy here. He's changing where he's breaking from. Was Six a, balls was down. A much better break that time. He, he didn't try to hit it quite as hard. Exactly. Yeah, I, I thought he was trying too hard to hit it. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. Don't agree with now the two balls a little tricky because it won't go by the five. But he's got a nice angle to kind of come right into the seven. Did you try to come into the seven? Just bump into the seven. And yeah, perfect. just bumps it. Yeah, but it's still speed. You know, it's a tough shot. Well, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's nice. Tough with the speed. It's dead center English. You come straight across with the seven. He's gonna have to. 
Hit a little harder than he wants to. He's using a bit of right. Very nice. Oh, I thought I thought he achieved it. That's tough. That's, that's a tough shot to get on. And he did a yeah. very valiant effort trying to get there, but it's just a tough shot. Yeah, I thought he I thought he I thought he executed it when he came straight across, but then he kinda he kinda came down a little bit. I don't like this. So you think we've I'm going two rails behind the nine. Go back behind the eight. Behind the eight or the nine. Either way. Because that two ball is going to hit the five and come to the bottom rail. That's what he's going to try to do. That's, 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 that's too tough to do. Oscar will probably play the same shot and try to hook him with a five. The table's fast though, so fast. See how he very nicely used the English to kill the ball? Do you think he can see it? Well, he might be. If he can see it, he can cut it in his corner. Might be able to cut it from his bottom corner. Oh, he can see a lot of it. It looks like he's going to try to draw this back and get behind the car. He could cross side and try to get the ball behind the seven. Or just make it in the corner and say, hit just hit that little tiny masse around there and be perfect. Okay. Well, what are we talking shot. about here? The only problem here is he's over ball. And six and a half feet away. That just makes it exciting. Exciting for who? The viewers. Oh. Good point. Thank you, well eight ball. Yeah. Thank you, eight ball. Well, you that ball good. That yeah, but that eight ball, that would have been the drink. He's going two rails with this. Wow, it's that fast. Wow. The table is fast. That ball should have never come up more than six inches off that rail. With the outside English, with the inside English he used on that. Look out for the second rail scratch. Straight in, just stop. Now, do you like to get straight in here, Brett, or do you want to give yourself an angle to play that nine ball in the same pot that you play in the eight? Because on the fast pitch. Yeah, it's seven. You think you just give yourself, keep yourself just silent off the rail so the cue ball gets really giving you an angle. So he's going to follow this. Yeah, straight is okay. He's going to follow this. This thing was awful fast. That's exactly what I meant. That's, yeah. that's the reason for it. In tournament, in tournament play, that's in, especially on a, a, a an amateur player against a pro. That's a pressure shot, and yeah. it's those are so easy to miss. They're deceivingly easy to miss. When you can only cue half the cue ball, it's or even if it's that much, mm -hmm. it's tough to get a good good hit on. It. That's too bad. He, he made a good out to there. And that's why, and that's precisely why I asked about getting on that A ball the way he did. You know, do you, yeah. do, you do you want? Well, I think I, I, think I like to play it in the corner, play the nine ball in the same corner. Rail, yeah, just so you have just a little angle. You still play the nine ball exactly. The same follow. Yeah, yeah, just a little follow. But it gives exactly. you, I agree. It's the cue ball I agree. But yeah, you want to you want an angle to get off the rail. I don't I don't like shooting. I don't like shooting that shot. I'm comfortable with it. I don't like shooting. Jose Gonzalez. If I leave it there, I'm going to complain to myself and say idiot. Jose Gonzalez. But of course, I call myself an idiot all the time. Table sixteen. Trevor Moore. Miracle. I was trying to be nice for a change. 
Joey Barrera. It's okay. You can razz me all you want. Thick skin, buddy. Oscar needs two games from here. Five ball looks like it might Five. slide past that six. I was gonna, I was gonna wonder. And this table's still playing. Shot that, this table's still playing pretty loose. So. So if you are waiting yes. for a pool table, please come to the bar. Yeah. He, he had to, he had to cheat it a little bit, and it caught the side. I thought that ball would slide in, no problem. Yeah, me too. But it didn't slide. It kind of caught up. I think he kind of... So are you going to hit this with speed? I'm just going to try to make it right there. I'm just going to hit it and try to make it be myself straight into this bottom corner pocket. Speed just enough to make it. I'm going to lay it on the rail. No, that's not going to do it. That's the same shot. It's very aggressive, but it, it came out okay. Came out okay. Still not, you still not out of the woods here. That's it. Second chance. Never mind. I think he might have it in his head a little bit right now. Mm -hmm. He's got it in his head right now, trying to do a little too much. Well, Oscar didn't get around this ball. Uh, I think he's going to bank this ball in the side pocket and go three rails to the cue ball for the eight. I know I would. Especially with a seven to one lead. I'm not going to play safe here. Oh, up jumps the nine ball. Look at this. Look oh, at this wow. nine ball. Look at this nine ball. Oh, my gosh. I thought it was going to hook him for sure. What a nice try. Look at this cue ball. Look at the cue ball. I think he's I think not. Ball came out of I think it did. I think he's got a shot. Well, he made a good bank shot. His cue ball just came up and hit the nine. I, that was hard to believe. I thought it was, you know, free sailing. I think he punched a little bit and just Did changed the okay. angle. Because it looked like the cue ball hopped a little bit. Okay, then you did. So it would be perfect. Stops rolling now. <laughs> We have a mini pepperoni pizza ready at the bar. Any pepperoni pizza? Again on the rail. Uh, as fast as this table rolls, I'm not sure how to put that magic rack up there so fast or that turtle rack. <laughs> now Jeremy gets two. Robert Johnson and Tim Daniel playing at the same table? No? Different okay. Oscar needs two games here. We've got an open shot on the one. 
little bit of low left. Actually, just center left. And he goes inside the. He goes two rails past the four. Will it go between the four nine? I can't tell what his angle looks like. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, I guess you're right. Right between them. No, he went. He went low. Yeah, see, it just goes straight top. Yeah. Yeah. Outside. Yeah, you got in too tight and hit the four. You wanted to go by that four. Table number 15, Jose Gonzalez. I am looking for you on table 15, Jose Gonzalez. Jose, can you see? Probably not after last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? This morning? Wow. Trying everything, that two balls in the cell plane. Well, I think the three ball goes by the seven, so he's got a fairly. Let me think it behind the eight. On the left side there, he's got a good shot at the two. Just hold that with nice a little bit inside. It's just a little bit inside. Just a, little bit inside. just a hair inside. Just like that. Nicely done. Nice speed. I thought he might have a tendency of hitting it a little harder. He hit it real nice. He hit it real nice. So what do you think about this on the rail TV.com? Do you think it's a good place? I mean, this Lenny guy, he's just something else, isn't he? He is. He's something else. We got Lenny Marshall standing behind us in the booth. He's, really, he's a troublemaker. He's, he's just hiding out from everybody. He's taking care of all the computer work. Them all up by one uh, by one. He's, he's going to have to show uh, Brett how to how to handle this uh, these uh, sponsor messages. You just click on them and it plays them. Oh, you click on it. And Daniel, you yeah. officially forfeit. Table 24, Robert Johnson. I'm still looking for you. Two-minute warning, Robert Johnson, table 24. Well, we've got a couple of players forfeiting out, and Jeremy on his way here to try to run this rack out to get the three before his opponent gets to nine. Coming straight back. And he could have come back a little further, but just a nice, nice cut smooth shot. Cut smooth in, smooth cut go shot just goes two rails. Out. Speed of this table, it's this nine ball play is very big here. It's in just the right place where if he just over hits it again, he's he's in trouble. Table number 25, Frank Robitz. Chuck Evans, Frank Robitz. Very well done, very Chuck nice. Evans, see, he's he's on he's luckily he's on the right side of it. Yeah, well, very well, very well done. Nice play. He was very smooth on that, stayed down. He hit that ball too. That was well done. Uh, that one, not so much. That one, he kind of punched Did that. he come up a little bit at the same yeah. time? I thought, I thought he did. I thought he kind of came up out of his shoes. Was it the same stroke he used on no, the previous No, not at all. Not at all. Robert Johnson. 
You officially forfeit. That seven, that, no, it didn't. So he's got a shot on the one. Table number 24. But he's Brad not ahead of shot on the one because he didn't make a ball. Table 24, Brad Johnson. Did not make a ball. No. Even race to seven, come be direct. The way those broke up, I don't know. Um, well, look. Because if you're, if you're not careful with the turtle rack, just like the magic rack, comes off a little bit. A couple balls don't touch. And if you catch it on that one side, then it's not well, going to break out. Well, from what I've noticed, it's the first time I use a turtle rack. I've done two matches now. And I have trouble getting the two balls behind the head ball yeah. to come together. Yeah, and so the, the little trick that I found with it is if you roll the balls forward, because they've got those diamond openings, cut openings, if you roll the balls forward a little bit, it sits in, sits in there and they all freeze up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just same, thing, I same thing I've had, had to do with magic rides. Especially the more they get worn in, the more the holes you just don't seem to fit quite right. We also have a chicken salad sandwich ready at the bar. We have a chicken tender. Easy. Got it. Oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He hit the floor. That was a nice shot. That was well struck. still playing really fast, but it uh, looks like Oscar's getting the hang, they get the hang of the speed, mm -hmm. able to control that cue ball really well. Two rail follow. Oh, there's the pocket there. Anyway, it, it looks less, like the five ball goes in this corner. Oh, it does. Okay. It looks like it I don't like the way he plays. I don't like this shot. I would have brought the ball back and used the, the bottom rail to get shape on the side. Great. Now the side pocket that's plays big. That's one of the reasons why mm -hmm. it's hard to control that speed mm -hmm. on that shot. What's the thin cut? Chicken tenders and a chicken salad sandwich ready at the bar. And this now got a little funny. Side pocket comes into play if he follows, if he uh, plays it in the corner. And he's going to hit the A ball if he plays it inside. The there you have it. Trouble in River City. I am, I am going to go off this A ball on the left side of it. Try to leave the A ball where the Q ball is and put the Q ball behind the nine. I just don't know that you can generate that angle. That's there. It's there. Yeah, it is. It's there. Okay, we'll it looks like Jeremy's going to take a stab at it. Yeah, he's going to he's going to Short. Oh, he did he pretty good, actually. Looks like it's going to cost Johnson. him the match. Asia, Brad Johnson, table 24, even race to seven. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He kind of he kind of punched that, didn't he? He did. He did punch that. He, I thought he so. Played he played that all the way. Yeah. He's laughing. He's making the corner. He's laughing. You know, sometimes those balls are so easy. Oh yeah. It's, it's, it's just well, and anytime you're that close to the ball, you can't really spot the no. that exact spot on the object yep. ball. It's not that hard to miss. You missed this. No, oh, you didn't know it. This is, this is going to come back real nice. He's going to be dead straight in. This is 
his Oscars break. Like they're going to take a quick little break and uh, be back in just a minute. One, Jay and Rick Armbrust, table 29. Even race descending, come to hit your rack. Bolt Hurry, one of the sponsors for the Mess Tour. QB Custom Cues. Great hitting cues. Mez, West State. West State, one of the big sponsors. Events being held at Bull Shooters, Peoria, Arizona. Being live streamed by OnTheRailTV.com. Larry Marshall. He does Hello, several live streams. These what people know who we are. Oh. I think everybody knows who we are. <laughs> Lenny asked us if we well, introduced we ourselves. Yeah. I, I, I think I think Nick DeLeon knows who we are. He's the only guy that's chatting. Uh, yeah, since you're at this time, we are getting ready to do a shift change. In the booth, you have Brett Hugh and, and George Stayatera. We can reopen them with the next bartender. Thanks for coming in. We do appreciate your business. And have a great night and good luck. Brett's a local player here in Phoenix, and I'm out of the Tucson area, southwest of here, southeast of here, excuse me. I don't know where I live. Yeah, somewhere down there. Somewhere south. Well, Jeremy has three games, Oscar has eight. Jeremy needs four games, and Oscar needs one. Alternate break. I would say the pressure is on Jeremy to get his four games. Keep in mind, this is on the one loss side, so the losing player here is eliminated. He won't be playing anymore today. Yeah, Minnesota Pats. Luther Lasseter? Okay. I just kind of glanced at it. Mm -hmm. It didn't show on the live stream. <laughs> hey, Oscar. We usually just tie it in a knot. We usually just tie it in a knot. <laughs> Nice break. Oh, the cue ball comes back straight in the corner pocket. He made the ball, wing ball, made a ball on the side. A nice break. Well, Oscar needs this game right here, and there is no roadblocks here. No. It's clear sailing. Roll that two ball in, play the full ball in the corner, run away. I just want, I'd like to roll this to the, to the, well, he's not going to, he's going to come up. Yeah. I would roll it to the rail and, and then go up and play the six ball and get the right hand corner, which is probably what he's going to do. But, yeah, just, he didn't come over enough. That's why I like to roll it to the rail. Yeah. <laughs> Makes doing that a lot easier. That's why nobody likes playing with George. I don't execute it, that's just what I try. <laughs> See, Brett, the thing is, that's what I would have tried. It doesn't, really matter it doesn't mean I'm going to execute it. <laughs> So because of that, I think everybody likes playing me. <laughs> <laughs> and 
looks like Oscar's going to close this match out with this shot at the nine ball. And close it out he does. Oscar Dominguez, your winner. He goes on and Jeremy Gibbs is um, going home. Oscar, why'd you bring Dave Hemma down here? You know, he might he might not want to go back to California. He used to live. I remember Dave from the 80s playing down here. And Good guy. 90s, cause he, Good guy. He was the house pro at uh, what is now Skipping Jams. Oh, was he? That's right. Pooches. It was in the 90s? Pooches, remember? I that remember. Was it. In the 90s. That's it was when in, Tom, in, in it was the, Tommy's. In the 80s. When he opened a new room over there on. Right, I remember it was Tommy's, yeah. But I didn't start playing until 98. Yeah. I played a lot of matches with him here at the Golden 8 Ball when they yeah. had the Golden 8 Ball in yep. Indian School. He is. He's a good guy. Very, very Hurts his pool game, but still a good guy. <laughs> it's tough to be nice at this game. He can play good. <laughs> I mean, real good. He plays real good. Yeah, he does. It's, it's got an interesting way of uh, walking up to the ball, but it's the same every time, so there's one better. Well, let's see what. Um, let's see who they send us down here. going to turn the camera to table number two and over here I'm not sure we have Max Speak of the Hemma. devil, we Larry were just talking about Dave, Dave Hemma. What do you say? You got that what written all over you? Donnie Sinclair. Donnie Sinclair.